Hey everyone, it's Delicia, and thanks for tuning in to the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be smoking the newer Padron that was debuted at IPCPR this year in July. This is the Damaso, which gets its name from the grandfather of Jose Padron, who was the founder of Padron Cigars. And he was the first in their family to grow tobacco uh, back in Cuba. So I love that they did tribute, of course, to uh, follow suit with all of their lines. They've always paid tribute to the family members and very important dates in that family. So one of the beautiful features of that company alongside the beautiful construction that's always true for every Padron cigar. Um, this one's slightly different. This is their first Connecticut wrap. So again, standing out this year um, at the show, there was a number of manufacturers that introduced Connecticut lines, which is a little bit different. And Padron was, again, it's the first one in their line. So Super excited to smoke this one. Has a nice barnyard kind of a, um, yeah, pretty much barnyard or a little bit earthy aroma to the wrapper. Yeah, very barnyard towards the, the foot as well. <clears throat> a little bit of a hay kind of a, a scent to it. So again, very different than the normal Padron that have, you know, those very rich, deep chocolatey cocoa type of uh, sense. So we're going to go ahead and light it up and see how it smokes. I'm actually going to use my Calibri V cut. This cigar also comes <clears throat> wrapped in cellophane, which is um, a little bit different than a lot of their cigars. I mean, there are some that do come in the cellophane, but usually, like with their all the anniversary line and those cigars, they're usually just in, you know, in the box and not in the cellophane. So that was something also that kind of stood out. The band itself is fairly similar. It does have the white background and the dark um, burgundy colors with the gold lettering, but underneath it has that same um, primary band you know, before this overly one is on top of it. So just again, um, looking at the, the aesthetics of it, very beautiful. It's an undisclosed Connecticut, so we don't know exactly where it's grown. Not sure if it's you know U.S. Connecticut or an Ecuadorian. They don't say, but it is over Nicaraguan uh, binder and filler. So we'll see how it smokes. Very toasty. <clears throat> That's the initial taste that stands out. There's a very light, light, light pepper on the retro hill, almost non existent. You can just get a little hint of it, but there's a definite toasty. Um, warm kind of earthy a little bit creamy as well um, again different than the normal traditional padrone but that's kind of cool that they you know came outside of that i guess they're um i don't want to say at a, a box because it's i mean they make incredible cigars so it's just something different which is nice you know give some variety to people that are either newer to smoking or just looking for something out of the norm so so far, um, taste-wise is good. It has a nice open draw, which is true again of all their cigars. So I'm gonna smoke it down uh, past the first third and get back in with you and let you know what flavors come about. So getting into the second third, flavors are predominantly peppery. Um, it's actually very true to that normal Connecticut type of a pepper spice that you get not overpowering but it's it's there i mean you definitely can can point it out there's also a hint of kind of like a lemongrass of some a little bit of a citrus a little bit grassy there's some earthiness to it but overall it's still pretty creamy so i'm enjoying it and i'm to be honest with you i'm not a huge connecticut fan if you'll notice on most of my reviews it's usually um you know maduros are my preference and so going 
the opposite extreme of that, which is the Connecticut, um, it's, it's hard to, to find one that I really like. So, so far I'm enjoying this one quite a bit and I have a feeling, of course, it has to do with the binder and the filler um, being Nicaragua based. And, you know, I just have a tendency to kind of lean more towards those flavors. So we'll see how it finishes up, but so far so good. I'm gonna check back in with you one last time for the last third. So coming into the last third of the Padron Damaso, um, as you can see, just a beautiful ash, beautiful white, um, even burn line, nice amount of smoke throughout the entire you know, time. Don't mind the, um, the nail polish, I'm in need of a manicure here. <laughs> but flavor wise, there hasn't been a, a big change from the second third to this last third. There's been a slight introduction of kind of um, just a hint of a nuttiness to it, but there's still that finish of pepper that's been there pretty much throughout. And strength wise, I was kind of surprised. I was expecting it to be fairly mild and it wasn't. It's it's right around you know medium, medium to full on the strength, even in spite of the fact that, again, they're using the Connecticut, um, which again, just kind of demonstrates the fact that the blend is everything. It's not necessarily the color of the wrapper or anything like that that determines you know the strength. It's just, again, how it's blended and what kind of tobacco is inside of it. So flavor was good. Um, it was an enjoyable Connecticut for me. I was very happy with the fact that I didn't have to touch it up at all. Um, just proved to be, you know, another great Padron. So I urge you to try it for yourself. And if you'd like to visit, you know, their factory and other factories in Esteli, there's still a couple spots left on my trip to Nicaragua. I have made some changes in case you didn't notice it on social media, but I have shortened the trip by two days and I've lowered the price significantly. So now it's only about 1500 bucks. You can get, you know, again, the tours of Drew Estate, Hoya, Padron, and Mombacho. And there's a lot of fun you know, activities that we're doing and just a great experience overall. So I urge you to visit cigarvixen.com to check out more details and hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and cheers.